I don't blame you guys. I don't get too excited about insurance myself, right? It's kind of one of those things that's an afterthought. A little bit of background on me. Um, currently run 20,000 ASICs domestically here in the U.S. And when I first got into mining, I was lucky enough to buy the S17 plus generation back in 2019, 2020. And the challenge with those miners was I learned very quickly what defect rate was, right? So when I bought those miners, I'd taken out a loan and I had some serious obligations that I had to deal with. Well, one of the things that came to mind is, hey, if these miners get damaged, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna pay my debt obligation? And so I seeked out a friend of mine who ran an insurance agency and said, I need insurance on this property. It should be really easy. These are computers in a quote unquote data center, right? And what we had found, we'd search globally and we could not find an adequate insurance policy. Back then in 2020, all we could find was property insurance that in the case of a loss scenario would not pay out. So what we did was we said, okay, let's create our own insurance product, right? And that's what we've been working on for the last two and a half years is creating specific ASIC property insurance, creating insurance for containerized solutions, as well as traditional warehouses, and most importantly, business interruption. So let's say you have a PPA in place and you're obligated to take a certain amount of power. What happens if a tornado comes through or a frost event comes through? What are you gonna do? You're gonna be out of pocket for that PPA. We have an insurance policy that covers this and we built this from the ground up. So truly when we say insurance for miners by miners, we are the ones that built the policy to take into consideration all the needs of miners, not only domestically, but internationally. A little bit more background. So myself and my CTO, we're both Bitmain certified and we run a 40,000 square foot ship level repair center in Cleveland, Ohio. So when it comes to mining, we've done quite a bit in terms of repairing these miners, operating these miners, building data centers, and ultimately creating insurance products specifically for these miners. So what we did was take it another step further and said, okay, that's great. We've created the product for miners. But if you think about this, what happens? You're mining, you earn Bitcoin. Maybe you're holding that Bitcoin in a hot wallet or cold storage, or maybe at a custodian, right? You have cyber and theft needs there. So we created an agency so if you think about your traditional insurance agent, they don't understand what crypto is. They have an educational curve, which is fine. Let's say you need insurance from a traditional agent. You're probably gonna spend 10 or 20 hours explaining to them and skirting around the fact that you're actually mining rather than trying to insure a traditional data center. Or in terms of you need insurance on your crypto that you hold, that's another educational process. So what we did was we created our own insurance agency and we can provide all these coverages that you see on the screen. So say you're trying to go public and you want a DNO a policy or directors and officers or errors and omissions, right? We can get you coverage. And our agents are all owners in BitShare. We all mine. So it's like you're talking to a colleague when you're talking to our agents. So we take a lot of pride in the fact that we can help you solve any of your insurance needs in crypto mining, right? And so with that, I do wanna open this up to Q&A. Anyone, if you guys wanna ask any questions about insurance, I would encourage you to ask them now, or you can meet us in the cigar lounge straight back, and me and my team are happy to discuss how we can help you mitigate risk. Because, you know, it's one thing to deal with Bitcoin price fluctuations, but the last thing that you wanna think about is, hey, if something catastrophic happens, and you have a loss, we can protect you against that, right? I know how to mitigate against market risk if I'm a miner. Help us help you mitigate the rest of your risk in your operation, right? So feel free if you guys have some questions. Happy to chat. I can talk about insurance, anything mining. Yeah. How do you, how do you mitigate the volatile prices on the underlying On the ASICs? Yeah. So the way we insure the ASICs is on a stated value or replacement cost, right? As you, as you guys know, hey, 
the value of the ASICs may change with Bitcoin price because really it's dependent on the future cash flows of that ASIC. So we do stated value or replacement cost. So it will fluctuate, yes. That's why we do one or the other, whichever is less. So like for instance, uh, the replacement value for a miner three months ago is gonna be two, three times the replacement value for a miner today. If you buy an insurance policy today and markets improve to where they were a couple of months ago, do I have to take on a new coverage product or, or how does that function? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. So the nice thing about when you're working with us is you determine what the stated value is. So let's say you bought your A6 for $10,000 a unit, you're buying S19s, and you, maybe you insured those for $10,000 a unit. And the market goes down, maybe we're six months into your insurance contract, and you say, hey, my miners are actually worth 5,000 a unit. We can work with you and get you a better policy, right? Our goal is to work in your best interest, and that's the value of working with us, is we understand the market and the dynamics that are at play, so we can save you money in that regard. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to pay insurance, right? At the end of the day, like I hate paying insurance, but it's a good way for me to get, mitigate my tail risk. Do you have any products that would offset lost hair hash rate in the event of uh, catastrophic failure of a mine, burns down, whatever? Sure. So on the business interruption side of the product, we do not cover revenue, but we cover uh, operational expenses. So the reason we won't cover revenue is because then you're subject to market volatility and market risk, right? I don't know if Bitcoin is going to be at 30000 or 50000 or 10000 So what we can do is we can look at your day-to-day -day monthly operational expenses and say, okay, you have PPA, that's a million dollars a month. Okay, you have staff, you have these costs. We can give you protection on that front because those are static costs that we can pass over to the actuaries and write a good policy on that. And to give you an idea of what insurance costs, because I know for me that's always a black box. It's like, okay, I have a million dollars of miners. How much is that going to cost me? Right now we're writing domestic property around 2% rate right online, give or take a couple points either direction, depending on your independent risk scenarios. Right. More questions? All right, who here has insurance? Good for you. You can also hedge. But One yeah. thing I will say, anyone who has insurance, the BitShare team is more than happy to review your policy complimentary and give you some guidance. We would like to earn your business. We appreciate your time. And it's important that you review your insurance policies to actually make sure if you do have a loss event, it's actually going to pay out. And that's what we do with complimentary. So if you need any help on that or a free consultation, we're happy to do that for you. All right, guys. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you having me. Have some cocktails and have fun at Mind and Disrupt.